Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about five pillars for lead generation every mortgage pro needs to know. Five pillars every mortgage pro needs to know. And it's really about building stability through diversification. You know, if you look at the Parthenon in Greece, it stood through the ages over 3,000 years because it has multiple pillars. And you want to take the same approach in your business. You want to build longevity in your business. You want to prosper long term in your business, regardless of where rates are, regardless of where the economy is, by building that stability through diversification. And so these five pillars that every mortgage pro needs to know will help to build that continual and ever increasing pipeline that allows you to thrive while everyone's struggling just to survive. And so I want to just highlight these because I think that every mortgage professional needs to have clarity on these five different lead streams and more importantly, how to put them to practice in your business. So that being said, let's dive into it, shall we? Let's start with pillar number one, personal network. Your personal network, I think far too often, especially newbies, lose sight of how important it is to tap into your personal network. Even veterans lose sight of that. Just because they're so busy taking advantage of the other sources of business, they often lose sight of friends, family, centers of influence, uh, people that know them and like them and trust them and vice versa. And yet there isn't necessarily an overture of either doing business with them or even more neglected is the opportunity to get referrals from those people because those people know people who know people, right? And so every single person has at least 200 people in their personal network. If you think about that, every single person you are in you know, touch with, with your personal network knows 200 people. The math on that is astounding, right? Just 10 people, that's 20, that's 2,000 people. If you add 100 people, that's 20,000 people that you can connect with through their spheres of influence. So tapping into their sphere of influence can be exceedingly powerful when you know how to do it. And it's simple as just inviting them to a brainstorm session to find out if perhaps you can activate their mental Rolodex to see who in the world you can help. So it's about positioning yourself as a conduit of contribution, being able to help them save time and money when buying, selling, refinancing, but also being able to educate these people on the different categories of people you can help from the renters that should be owning to the investors that need more access to capital so they can build their portfolio faster to the people who are thinking about selling or the people who are thinking about buying. All those people need your help and or access to your dream team with top-notch buyer's agents, top-notch listing agents, top-notch financial planners, and so forth. And so that is one opportunity, but also asking, who do you know who's a top-notch real estate agent? I specialize in helping top realtors increase their business and earn more while working less. I specialize in helping top producing realtors close more deals with less effort. Who do you know who's a top listing agent? Who do you know who's a top buyer's agent? And by doing that, again, you're opening the door for them to be a conduit of contribution by sharing the love and connecting who they know with you, with your expertise, with your talent, with your know-how. And so your personal network can be one of the most profitable sources of business if you know how to tap into it. It's not just about saying, hey, I offer great rates, great service, maybe I can help you. Although that could be one thing you ask, you know, when's the last time you refinanced? May I ask, do you happen to remember what your rate is? May I ask, are you open to getting a second look to see if it might make sense to save you some money on your mortgage? You know, you can certainly do that, but there's also a treasure trove of opportunity to tap into who they know. If you're not doing that on a consistent basis, if you're not doing that in a simple and elegant way that allows you to just show up and shine and just have a meaningful conversation and get permission from these people to brainstorm with you just 10, 15 minutes on the phone 
and just have a quick brainstorm session to see if you can activate their mental Rolodex to see who in their world you can help. If you're not doing that, I'm telling you right now, you're leaving a ton of money on the table. So that's pillar one. Now, that's not just reaching out on the phone. It could also be reaching out by social media. It could be reaching out by text but different ways by which to reach out to your personal fear and to invite to a brainstorm session. That's where the magic happens, friends. I can tell you, you can put a whole lot more zeros and commas in your bank account just from that one pillar alone. But we're not going to stop there. Let's get to it and do it. We still have more. Pillar number two is database marketing. So your prospects, unconverted leads, apps and closings, as well as closed deals or past clients. So if you don't have systems to be able to mine the gold from that database, and by systems, I mean not cookie cutter crap from your company, because that's just snoozeville, that's dullsville, that's snoring boring. I'm talking about compelling systems, compelling copy, comp compelling reasons to reach out to them. If you don't have a compelling system and a bunch of different unique campaigns that hit them up with the right message at the right time, with the right reason for the overture, and you don't have a system to do that consistently and persistently over time, I'm telling you right now, you're leaving a ton of money on the table. At a black belt level, you should be getting two to three deals per month for every 100 past clients. So do the math on that. How many past clients do you have in the past client database? If you're not getting two to three deals a month in the form of repeat and referral business from every 100 past clients, you're leaving a ton of money on the table. So that's where we want to have systems, long-term nurture campaigns, where you're touching them once a week with a kick-ass video or kick-ass content that draws them in, that adds value, that positions you as an expert, that reminds them that you're the bomb flipping diggity. So when they think mortgage, you're the only logical choice. Systems to be able to deploy the words that work with the right message at the right time, just when they need to hear from you before closing, but also after closing. So there are what are called trigger campaigns. You want to have trigger campaigns to reach out to them at the right time, like on their mortgage anniversary, on their birthday, you know, different checkpoints where you're reaching out to them. And you want to be able to automate that process. If you're still operating from Outlook in an Excel spreadsheet, I'm telling you, my friend, you're doing it the hard way. You're operating caveman style. I'd recommend you upgrade to the 21st century because there's automation tools that it can literally allow you to set it and forget it. Once you set it up, you just upload your list and bada bing, bada boom, you're hitting people at the right time, at the right place, the right message without having to do any manual human effort. Just set it and forget it. That's called working smarter, not just harder. And obviously with two to three deals per month for every 100 past clients, that adds up pretty quick. Do the math on that. If you're making three, four, five Gs a pop per deal, you do the math on that, that's worth at least an extra six figures a year to you, chances are, just on 100 past clients. If you have 1,000 past clients, now we're talking boatloads of dough that your chances are leaving on the table if you don't have those systems in place. The third pillar of the five pillars we want to talk about today is referral partners. Referral partners. Now, let me ask you this. If you're going to go after referral partners, you might as well start with the basics. Basics first, exotic second. And if you're going to focus on the basics, you want to focus on the lowest hanging fruit, the shortest path to the cash, the most profitable and the most expedient pathway to get to your income goals. So if you do have referral partners, you might as well have the ones that are going to send you the most amount of business most often. Well, let me ask you this. Out of all the different categories of referral partners, which category has the highest likelihood and the highest capacity to send you the most amount of business most often? I'm here to tell you it is realtors and not just realtors, but top producing realtors. Sure, you can go after the bottom feeding, whining, sleeping, complaining, jelly donut eating, low producers, but why would you when you have the option, the choice to be able to attract the top producers? But Doran, they don't give you the time of day. They're prima donnas. They think their poop don't stink. They don't even answer my phone call. They are already married to their lender. Yeah, that's because you're doing it the hard way. That's because you don't have the words that work that get them standing to attention and chomping at the bit to want to meet with you. When you have the words that work in the right value proposition and you go beyond just offering great rates, great service, throw me a bone, it changes everything. 
So same thing here. You want to go after the top producers. You want to have a campaign that allows you to do it. You need a system to be able to get them hot for what you got, pre-cooked and pre-tenderized. So you can just stick a fork in them, bring the barbecue, say, so easy for me to say, bring the barbecue sauce, baby. They're done like dinner. You want to be able to have a system for that so that you just hit them up with an automated campaign and let that system have the cream rise to the top. And then you just grab your spoon and scrape the cream right off the top. That's called working smarter, not harder. Now, you could always do it the hard way, like so many of these so-called mortgage coaches are teaching, cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday. But I'm here to tell you that's doing it the hard way. It's kind of like, you know, you want to uh, climb the mountain to success. You want to climb the skyscraper of success. And it's a 20-story building and top producer money, freedom money is on the 20th floor. Sure, you can take the stairs and you can grind busting your ass doing it the hard way and have a 50 pound rucksack on your back while you do it sweating your buns off and you can eventually get there through a whole lot of toil and hard work that's doing cold calling yeah it works better than nothing if you throw enough yogurt to the fan eventually something's gonna stick but that's doing it the hard way or you can just go to the elevator press the p button for prosper for penthouse and go straight to making top producer money without messing around doing it the hard way. That's an option too. I don't know about you. I much prefer just pressing the P button and just getting straight to what works, going straight to making top producer money on the penthouse, then grinding my buns off unnecessarily in the elevator shaft or rather in the staircase. So that is how you do it. Pillar number three is top producing realtors and have a system to be able to attract them as exclusive partners who send you all their business all the time, put you on their speed dial, working on your terms, not theirs. And in order to do that, you got to flip the script so that they need you more than you need them. you got to flip the script so that you're irreplaceable and indispensable. And that's how you do it. Now, pillar number four is organic search, local organic search. So every single day, every single week, every single month, people, whether you like it or not or know it or not, are searching for a mortgage provider in your market, in your town, in your city. And if you don't have a system to position yourself on the top of those uh, search results with more five-star reviews than any of your competitors, chances are you're leaving a ton of money on the table. So you need a system to get those five-star reviews. You need a system to get not just top ranking, but top positioning where you become the only logical choice and people wouldn't even think about settling for anything less than you because you are the best and you're positioned as the best, not based on what you say, but based on what your past clients, your happy past clients say. So that's called third party proof. And Google loves Google reviews and they reward people who have the most amount of Google reviews. Do you have a system for that? Do you have a system to tap into Google's algorithm so you're getting top ranking? So you're in the what's called the three pack in the top three on the map with more five-star reviews than your competitors. If you don't, you're leaving a ton of money on the table. So that is another pillar you wanna master, local organic search. And the last, but certainly not least pillar I wanna share with you is consumer direct ads. So that's where you're paying per click, for example, for Facebook ads or Google AdWords or YouTube ads, et cetera. And there are a multitude of different ways you can skin the cat on this. There are a multitude of different viable ways to generate leads, buyer leads, refinance leads, et cetera. But again, this is a really easy way to lose your shirt if you don't know what you're doing. So you need an expert in your corner who's already been there, done that, who has the kick-ass copy, who has the systems, who has the funnel, who has the words that work, who has the eye candy to draw people's eyeballs in, who has the complete funnel from A to Z, from what to have on the landing page, what to have on the thank you page, what to have, what to have on the follow-up sequence that sends text messages, voicemails, and emails to follow up with those people so you're not having to grind doing it the hard way, calling them all and chasing people and having to sift through a bunch of gravel to find a few gold nuggets. So consumer direct marketing is the last thing you want to do because otherwise you're skipping over, you're stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. Far too often, I, people, I see people neglecting their database, neglecting their personal network, neglecting to attract top producing realtors, and they're spending boatloads of money on consumer direct ads. That's crazy. That makes no sense. 
because they're having to sift through so much gravel to find a few gold nuggets. They're chewing up the profit margins because they're jacking up their credit card on all these uh, Facebook ad spends, not to mention an ads manager managing it if they do have one. And so their profit per closing is minuscule at best, and they're wasting their time on all these crap leads that don't convert. That is local, friends. That's called stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. That's definitely not working smart. That's called working hard. So what we want to do is we want to build these pillars one after the other and have consumer direct marketing be the last one you do, not the first one, the last one you do. And you can blend them together. You can stack them together. You can have them work in tandem, but you don't want to step over dollars to pick up dimes. You want to be strategic and pick that low hanging fruit first before you are dangling from a 24 foot ladder to try and pick that high hanging fruit and risking your life doing so. So basics first, exotic second, that's a big idea. So guys, if you're listening to this right now and you're like, Dorn, I totally am picking up what you're laying down. I'm loving it. I'm all over this like white on rice. I'd love to learn more about you know, how you can help me with this. I don't really know how to market myself very well. I'm great with people. I know what to do with them once I bring in a lead, but I just don't know how to get more of those quality leads. I don't know how to attract those top realtor partners. I don't have a kick-ass value proposition. I need a system door and I just need a formula. I need a recipe. I need a roadmap. If you can provide that roadmap, I can double, triple, quadruple my income because I'm coachable. I'm committed. I'm hungry. I want to at least add an extra $100,000 a year to my income. And I want to learn how to do it without messing around doing it the hard way. I don't want to grind up the 20 story staircase when there's something called an elevator. I can just press the P button and go straight to prosperity money, top producer money right from the get go, making penthouse money. If that's you and you're on 100% commission and you're making at least 80 basis points or higher and you're sick and tired of being at the same level you're at, you're sick and tired of worrying where your next deal is going to come from, you're sick and tired of doing it the hard way and you're ready to start working smart rather than just working hard, I invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call with either me or one of my consultants where we lift up the hood on your business and we look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you wanna be. And if we can help you create a breakthrough, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like. And if not, frankly, we'll be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services, perhaps recommend something else or someone else. Either way, our goal for you is you leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. I'm going to put it right on the screen here. Mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Just the way it shows on the screen right there. And you can just book a spot in our calendar. We'll dive in and we'll have a meaningful, worthwhile and honest conversation and see what we can do to help you. And if we can help you, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You'll leave with value and clarity regardless. All right, friends. So I trust that you got value from this conversation today. I trust that you got your eyes open to what's possible and the money that you're leaving on the table. And if you're ready to take your business to the next level and step up your game, book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for hanging with me. My name is Doran Aldana from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast coming at you from mortgagemarketingcoach.com. Be blessed. We'll talk to you again soon. Peace.